Bruce G96 asks, when are you getting married? Uh, well, one thing I hope for sure is, I hope my future wife isn't being a whole right now. And, yeah, in terms of when I'm getting married, I don't know, man. Like, yo, I'm just trying to focus on taking care of this kid that's gonna pop out in three months. Yeah, marriage, uh, the thing is though, I'm not afraid of commitment. I'm gonna make a video on this, actually. I'm not afraid of commitment. I don't think a lot of guys are afraid of commitment. It's just the person that they commit to. That's the scary part. So I'll make a video on that later on. Oh, my Ninja Joseph says, that's one clean-ass logo. Yeah, I think it's pretty clean still. That's what I want to get on the shirts, but of course things happen and the shirts didn't come out yet. They still will be coming out one day, but... Not now, not just yet. I still have to get something sorted out like my entire life. Ninja Body asked, are Mounties real or just characters from movies? And are Canadians forced to speak French in public? Uh, I think Mounties are real. I think they are real. Canadian Mounties or whatever, they're, they're like in the like Alberta and stuff, I think. Anyway, I'm just ignorant about that still, but I know they exist. And are we forced to speak, uh, are we forced to speak French in public? Bro, I don't even speak a shred of French. Well, bonjour, oui, oui. But, like when I was in, uh, what, what, grade 9 French, I, I basically failed. I think I failed, but my teacher bumped my mark up to a 50. God bless her. Thank her so much for that. And yeah, just, no, we don't have to speak French. No one does that. I think in Quebec, yeah, but, nah, nah. Fake Fitness says, hey Simon, I love your hustle and how you prosper despite the struggle. Well, I hope I continue to prosper because right now I'm struggling still. And my name is Shamlo Fake. In 2014, I lost 68 pounds and overcame obesity. That is, that's sick. I applaud you for that for sure. I fell in love with powerlifting and I now hold four provincial powerlifting records in British Columbia. Yo, is this guy a Superman or something? Like, what? I am flying out to Toronto this August. There is nothing I would love more than to collaborate with you. If you are interested, I guarantee you a video beyond quality. Uh, in terms of co collaborations, man, I just can't do that now. Especially in August. That's like one month before the child is born. Like, I'm just going to be preparing and scrambling. I don't have time to really collaborate with people right now. But I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm just saying not now. And that, that goes for everybody. That goes for everybody. JPITA underscore 27 asked, What do you want to be remembered for when you die? Yo, I just want to be remembered for being a real ass person. Like, just being real. No snake stuff coming from me. I just, I'm caring, man. Like, I just want you guys to remember me for just helping you guys out. Just making you guys smile, watching these videos. Inspiring you guys to get out of the struggle. Because I'm, yo, I'm, I'm, the, all of you guys watch me around my age. And you guys watch me struggle and try to become successful. So it inspires you guys also who are also in college. Probably having a kid at my age and all that stuff. So honestly, I just want to be remembered for a real transparent, transparent person. I think I'm actually showing that on this channel as of this moment. So I think I'm pretty successful already in terms of doing that. Ticklet asked, how much do you bench? Well, my max bench press was 205. My squat was 225 and my deadlift was 300 pounds. Now, can I lift those anymore? <laughs> I highly doubt it, but I will be getting back to powerlifting uh, soon enough. Only Mamba asked, have you ever been in a fight? I'm actually gonna make a separate video on whether or not I've been in a fight. I fight, uh, I'll make a video on that. The man himself, Beast Mode Jones, 35, I'm joking, it's Beast Mode Jones, 35, and ain't Chris Jones, representing physiques of greatness. Uh, is it hard trying to become a personal trainer? Because I've always wanted to be one when I grow up, but need some advice on it. Thanks, bro. Uh, to get certified, it isn't really that hard. You gotta study. That's one thing for sure. You gotta study. Uh, know what you're talking about. I am certified as a personal trainer, and as of right now, I'm still not hired as a personal trainer. Uh, I just started applying for jobs a few weeks ago so who knows I think an opportunity may be out there but if not I'll try to look for other ways like online coaching and you know there's other ways to to train people without actually working at a gym so I'm just gonna try to figure out myself and I'll say this it ain't easy that's one thing I'll say for sure so make sure it's a passion of yours something that you're willing to chase and be dedicated to Drigo Lifts asks do you have any plans to ever visit Chicago? Chirac? Yo <laughs> I have no plans to visit Chicago. Will I ever? Highly doubt it. I don't know. I always just want to visit New York, Cali, and Florida. That's in terms of the states. I haven't even had like dreams to really visit Europe, but I probably will visit Europe one day, I guess. I don't know. Right now, I'm not even planning on visiting anywhere. As you guys know, I'm just trying to get my life together. But yeah. No, Chicago, Chirac? Nah. Nah, bruh. Watch underscore 009 asks, how was your football career in high school? 
I'll make a separate video on that. How old are you? I'm 20. When did you get into weightlifting and how? I got into weightlifting or calisthenics, whatever you want to call it, uh, last year, April. I was starting bodybuilding, I quit that, then I changed to calisthenics. I'll make a separate, I, as I told you guys earlier, I'll make a separate video on that explaining everything, how it all went down. Young and for Life asked, how do you gain energy when you work out? If anything, I kind of lose energy when I work out, but for my pre-workout, the best pre-workout always says eat some fruits, especially banana, man. Those things work wonders. And drink like two cups of water, like, so yeah, drink like two cups of water. Not right before so you don't throw up, but drink two cups of water and eat a banana. That's my favorite pre-workout. Hey, my ninja, oh my god, Alex, HG. Sorry, HD, not HG. Uh, he asked, how's your girl? I actually don't have one. But if you're referring to the mother of my child, uh, she's she's cool, we're cool. We're still friends and everything, you know, everything's cool and all. Uh, we're just trying to wait for the baby to pop out and just, you know, be happy. Maxim Gum, you and Nick asked, when did you start? I started last year, April, as I said. Uh, how strong were you when you started? How many push-ups pull-ups could you do back then? I couldn't do one pull-up and I could barely hit 10 push-ups. I struggled at like five push-ups. I was weak. But then I did calisthenics, I got better, and then I started making YouTube videos. Of course, I'll make a separate video on that explaining how everything started. Kwame Garvey asked, how do you fix muscle imbalances in the arms doing calisthenics? Well, if you're talking about one arm being bigger than the other, just know that there's always going to be muscular imbalances, but uh, do like one arm push-ups, one arm pull-ups if you can. Do assisted one arm pull-ups or assisted one arm push-ups if you can. And, you know, just... It's not as easy as like using dumbbells, because dumbbells you can isolate a lot more easier, and it doesn't take that much strength to pick how much weight you want to lift for your dumbbell. Like with body weight, you can't choose how much weight you, you push or, or pull. You get my point? So if anything, I, don't, I would say don't try to fix muscular balances using calisthenics. But if you really want to do it, you have to do one arm assisted uh, exercises. Blue Alert 375 asks, why do you prefer calisthenics over the gym? Uh, I'll make a separate video on that, but just to be short, uh, it's, more, it's more fun to me. I don't really care to be huge uh, and I get to train outside and no one else really gets to interfere. Well, some kids interfere, but man, I'd rather have some kids interfere, like just run around and stuff, than have like the entire bench occupied or like have like five dudes who wanna bench. You wanna spot me? You wanna spot me, bro? No, I'd rather just work outside by myself and record some videos for you guys. QQ Quang, is it Quang, bro? I think it is. Will you ever consider just bodybuilding? Chris Mag 17 asks, have you ever made a terrible bet and lost it? Uh, I don't bet, I don't gamble. First off, I don't have money to gamble, like I'm broke. Uh, before, I was even more broke than now. Uh, so, no, I haven't made a bet and lost it. I've made bets, you know when you say, oh, bet me, bet me, but it ain't really, it's not real bets. I just don't gamble, bruh, I don't gamble. I ain't trying to lose any of my money. I'm never playing the lottery. I'm just trying to work hard, grind, and earn all of my income. You feel me? Man, I cannot pronounce that. Team Timaniakov, Timaniakov asks, Do you ever think about going vegan? I knew that question was coming. Uh, I was thinking about going vegan, but then when I made a video talking about going vegan, a vegan told me you're not really, you're not really vegan because you don't really care for animals. So I'm like, you know what? Fine. I ain't gonna call myself a vegan. I'm just gonna follow my diet after a vegan diet. But I ain't gonna call myself a vegan, a vegetarian, paleo, whatever. I'm not, I'm not calling myself anything. I'm just eating what I want, and I'm not eating what I don't want to eat. Simple as that. When am I going vegan uh, or vegan? I don't know. Really, I just gotta wait till I get some money, make sure I'm in the mental space to do so, so I don't like give up on it. And yeah, like I'm just living life. I'm not forcing myself. People thought I was trying to go vegan for views or I was trying to go vegan just because I saw vegan gains. Bruh, I was trying to, I, I was looking to the vegan diet before vegan gains even came on YouTube. And I'm not trying to do it for views, like what? I make videos for views anyway, so even if I was going to go vegan for views, what's the problem with that? People that mind watching someone like me who isn't really vegan try to be vegan to see how the experience is. So honestly, man, to those haters, just stop it, man. Just live life. Be happy. Stop hating on others. And the last question of the day, finally, I actually answered like most of them from Pancake Tuesday. He asked, how do I get into calisthenics instead of running or weightlifting? Uh, yeah, I already answered that before. I'll, I'll make a separate video on that, explain the entire story. But yeah, that is basically it. That was the first q and I thank so many of you guys for asking all those questions. I did not actually expect all those questions to come through. I was only expecting like 10 to 15, and over 50 came. I think I got to all of them. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Let's celebrate one year of, of, of Strength Over Size and let's celebrate a next successful year of Strength Over Size. 20K subscribers next year? I think so. Over 1 million of views next year? I think so. So continue to support, share the video, follow me on Instagram to join the next Q&A if you want to join it. And follow me on Facebook. Go in the, the description. The link is there. Like the page. It's going to be in full effect soon enough. And I'll try to merge the two together so that we can have a Facebook Q&A, an Instagram Q&A. Just an SOS family Q&A. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I am out.